how many people don't like getting my blog? Yeah. Or, oh, uh, we get about a, a little bit more than two million hits and about thirty thousand unique visitors a month. Right. Um, and then don't you bubble? Well, I mean, I stumbled and bumbled with it for about a year before I started really understanding what I was doing. So, so yeah, it, it, it takes a while, like anything. Yeah, it's, you know, a lot of people will, they'll take action, but it's not, what what you find if you've been in this kind of industry for a while, is you find that it's not the how-to, it's how you do the how-to. So, you know, you may be talking to prospects, you may be writing content, you may be doing all the actions that everyone tells you to do, but if you have mind trash up here, if you have a negative, you know, inkling of doing these things is greatly going to affect your results and so mindset doesn't replace action it just helps you make your action more effective and so you know i talk a lot about law of attraction i talk about you know affirmations i talk about different things that is geared toward whatever you're doing just getting better results right so you give us an example where you you went when you didn't have money but then you already Expected it, then could you give us like a, a little example? Yeah, um, I mean, like one one that I just shared is always um, always being mindful of your association with money and, and nice things and wealthy things. And so I have I suggest people use a phrase I can afford that. And so if you see a nice car, you see a nice home, you see a nice whatever necklace or TV or whatever. Your, your immediate thought patterns, and I can afford that. And all of a sudden, you change your vibration, and you are becoming someone of wealth. And so that's just that goes into your actions. So when you're talking to somebody about your business, you now have a different vibration of when you talk to them. And so if you've ever, you know, the, you've heard the term, I got a negative vibe from that person. Well, vibe is short for vibration. And so, you know, when you change your vibration, you're going to have more positive results when you talk to people, when you market, when you run ads, whenever you do anything. And so it's really, you know, one of the, one of the keys to, to success. But then, did you show it from your life, or from your life? Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, there I created, uh, you know, like mindset. I started doing affirmations, and there are just a lot of things. Because, you know, a few years ago, I was in personal foreclosure. I had lost everything. And I had this woe is me kind of attitude. And I was focused on my story. I was focused on, you know, what happened to me. You know, why I was where I was. And I made the switch to focus on where I wanted to go and focus on what's possible, focus on what's powerful versus what is happening in, in my life necessarily. And that drove me to do different actions, to you know, become the top income of my company, to you know, make extra money, to have better relationships, to travel the world, and, and those, those are key elements. And uh, you uh, You know, we do good. I mean, we, you know, we, uh, we've had uh, you know, multiple six-figure months, and um, you know, it's been really good. I mean, I, I have, in 2009, I made $19,000. So I've now, I've done that in an hour webinar. I mean, my, my best webinar, I did 125000 in a you know, one-hour webinar, and um, you know, I've had multiple products make over 500000 each. You know, and, and so, so it's, it just shows you wherever you are, you can get to where you want to go. Right. I love the story that you shared. It's such an inspirational story. How you can overcome? Can you share the things that you wrote down on what happened to you in your life, like those? Yeah. Yeah. Can you share? Sure. I mean, you know, a lot, a lot of people they they think that there's something in their life that prevents them from having success, and that's never the case. Your past is not 
you know, it does not dictate your, your future. And so, I mean, I have, you know, I was in personal foreclosure. I'd gone through a divorce. I, you know, had, you know, child abuse when I, when I was younger. Um, drug abuse in, in high school, dropped out of college. I actually took five years to finish high school because of the drug abuse. Um, and, and so, you know, those are like, all right, you know, what are you going to do tomorrow? You know, so it's, those things don't mean that you can't have success. And so, no, if you're, you know, if you're out there and you're struggling, all of us have, you know, that's the so what, all right? And so, you know, that no matter what you have, you can have success. I thought I, I love your advice. That you, I, I listened to you and you said I never watch TV and then something happened funny and you went outside and you saw something like blew up or something and then you went outside. Because I, I, I'm not watching TV like for three years. Yeah. 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 Could you share what? Because people are saying, well, you have to say, you have to know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you share? Yeah, I just, I just don't watch. Um, yeah, I just don't watch the news. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't watch much TV. Um, and we have Netflix, so we'll watch a movie here and there. Movies are fun. Um, but I just, I really pay attention to how I'm being programmed. You know, if you, if you watch the news, you're going to hear about a child being kidnapped. You're going to hear about rape. You're going to hear about theft. You're going to hear about death. You're going to hear about hurricanes and, you know, hand grenades, all these different things, right? And that is just, it's hard when it's real. Because it is real. I mean, it's the news. It's hard when it's real for you not to be affected vibrationally. Uh, worst practice anyone could ever do is watch the news before bed. Here you are seeing all this fear mongering and this hatred and the bombs and the hummus and you know all those different things. Then you go off to bed to let your subconscious just program away. I, I mean, it's just the worst practice of all time. And so you want to be cognizant. What are you bringing in? If you're bringing garbage, hatred, fear, negativity into you, how can you not produce that? How can you not be negative about, about your life? And so be mindful of every single thing that you put into your head. Um, I see the news on, I turn the channel. You know, I, just, I, don't, want, I don't want to hear it. I will learn uh, if there's something important. Like, I'm in Florida, so, I mean, there's been times where I would be at the grocery store and everyone's buying plywood and, you know, and water. I'm like, oh, there must be a hurricane coming. So I'll look, I'll look at the newspaper and sure enough, hurricane's coming. I'm like, all right, I, I need to be prepared, right? But I never know, like, when they know. They know first, and yeah, they'll tell me. Okay. One more story. Can you share how you attracted Jensen into your life? Absolutely. Um, I had I got through a divorce, and then I went through a, another long-term relationship that we were engaged, got disengaged, and um, I was just really disenfranchised. I was really just not happy, and my business had gone to crap. Relationship was gone. Life was tough, and so my friend Gabe, he said, "Dude, just make a list." Make a list of every single trait that you want in a relationship and you want in a woman. And so I'm like, all right, you know, so I wrote, you know, great smile, great sense of humor, ambitious, beautiful. I wrote all these different things. I just kind of tucked it away and I put it in a kitchen drawer. And two years after I wrote that, we were moving. Okay, so Jessica and I got together. We were moving. I, I found this list. Like, What's this? And I read it and I'm just like, I just got choked up because it was it was Jessica. I described I never met her. I described every single trait that she has. Gets along with my kids. Gets along with my friends. Appreciates me. It's great. I mean, every single thing is her. I described her. And so people need to do that. Most people they they you know they, they have generalities. You know, I want a business that makes a lot of money. Well, how much money? You know, what kind of business? Working with who? Doing what? What are you? you know, what are your actions? So. You know, you, you want to be specific in what it is that you want in your life, and, and you're much more apt to get it. And uh, because I watched you doing the visualization journal, you did yeah. a lot about yeah. that, and you said, oh, this is the place that I wanted to visit, and you visited, and yeah. this whole thing, and awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're getting, um, you know, you're getting six hours of content. You're getting a multiple audio bonuses. You're getting everything in audio and video, and you know, less than a hundred bucks. So the reason I did that is, you know, I, I think to myself, number one, I know the value, so I know it's a thousand dollar package. But I want everyone. I don't want people to have hangups about money. I want it to be a no-brainer for anybody. So less than a hundred bucks, you got a money-back guarantee. It's just, it's just a no-brainer, you know. And so. The thing that I would encourage people, whether you know if they're thinking about buying or whatever, is 
if you think you know everything about mindset or you don't need that mindset stuff, just look at your results. That's it. Just look at your current results. If you have amazing current results, then you're probably pretty good on mindset, right? Now, I still, every day, work on my mindset. Every day, I'm listening to my audio books. I'm reading books. You know, I, I, I do that. I work on my mindset nonstop. But uh, that's the thing. Is a lot of people think, oh, I don't need that. I need how-to. Well, how-to is easy if you have the mindset. It's easy to learn how to drive traffic or how to get backlinks or whatever, how to build a business. It's the mindset that you really got to work at. You got to have that first before you, you know, before those other things ever work. Right, and you need to expect that it's going to work. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, right, it's not gonna work. right. Awesome. That's it. Go. Cool. All right, good. Yay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're It's recording. Okay. So this is Jane, and she's freaking awesome. She so cares about your success. Make sure you go with Jane. She's gonna help you get to the top. Awesome. It's breaking them. That's it. That's it.